Welcome to the Gruda Guys channel. Thank you for tuning back in. <laughs> so it's the middle of summer. Hopefully you guys are out there doing a lot of outdoor cooking. Unless of course you're in Florida or Texas, then we hope that you are actually sitting inside in the air conditioning somewhere because those places are really hot. So we have two exciting events for you tonight. We're gonna get Jeff out from behind the camera. Nope. Because he has lost, in a, back up, an immense amount of weight and uh, he looks great. Kudos to him. The second thing is we're gonna explore Chris's what we call Chrisisms. So this is where Chris just decides to make up his own word, his own rules, his own definition of what society as a whole holds true. So tonight <laughs> is the <laughs> chopped, chopped steak, Chris? Chopped cheese, Nate. Chopped cheese, chopped cheese, which through any research that I've done, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, is a basically a steak and cheese sub made with hamburger. However, Chris just makes his own stuff up. You may have heard him call, you know, broccoli asparagus. You may have heard him call Brussels bean sprouts. sprouts, bean sprouts, yeah. right? You may have heard him call chicken beef. He's okay with it. This is his own language. So tonight's video sort of applies <laughs> in the same manner, where even though the world has agreed that a chopped cheese is on a sub roll, Chris is assembling his chopped cheese Big on a burger, burger roll. roll. Burger roll. The chopped cheese hack. That's right, because we do a lot of things the griddle guy way, my way, when I do a video. You guys believe this guy? Uh. All right. So in any case, stick around, just gonna take your shirt off later. Sit through the intro, yeah. we'll get going. Cool. See how happy Nate is? See how happy <laughs> Nate is? <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Smash that like button. Smash it. Rundown of the list of ingredients for the chopped cheese that Nate can't, I can't wait to make this for him. Cheese, make... cheese chop or chopped cheese? Chopped cheese, what'd I say? Chopped cheese. Chopped cheese, I said it right. Jeez, right. um, I get all the, keep getting questions from you guys, you know? Where do the wings go? <laughs> In your belly. Mm. All right, 80 20 hamburger. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a big, basically a huge hamburger, and then we're gonna chop it up from there, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I get some mushrooms, because I know Jeff and Nate both love mushrooms. The big bread, we're gonna butter these. Jeff, I assume you will not be using one of these. We'll just do yours plain on a dish, not, not a problem. Perfect. Some tomatoes, some onions, some jalapenos that we are gonna do on the griddle. We're gonna do these on the griddle, and the mushrooms on the griddle. The onions, we're, gonna, we're just gonna leave that as, as is. We're gonna cut it up and just add that as a topping. That's nice too. Little Pickles, lettuce. And some American cheese. That's it. Cheap, simple, easy. A little salt, pepper, garlic salt, and good to go. Uh, I'm gonna put these guys to work, get them to cut up some of these veggies. I was just gonna ask, is there any prep? That we're just gonna cut that up and then we're gonna head out to the griddle and stay outside for as little as possible because it's so hot out. And it's supposed to rain. And it's supposed to rain, so we gotta beat the rain too, so let's get on it. Nate's not gonna love this, but I'm making a big meatball, the size of a huge hamburger, to make this chopped cheese. <laughs> It's not just me, you guys can comment. Anybody out there who has had a chopped cheese. Please comment. Feel free to give feedback. So what were you expecting? Just to take it right out of the package, just throw it right onto the griddle, That's, break it up? From what I've seen, that is a chopped cheese. From what I've seen, it's the opposite. Everybody's made like a huge patty, and then they chop it up, uh, add whatever fixings they want, and then they have their chopped cheese, and then the cheese, and then that's it. So they make it like a huge cheeseburger first, which is what I plan on doing. <laughs> the comments will tell. The comments will tell. All right, I'd say that's enough tomato. And I, do it in two. I, didn't, I didn't take the stems off your mushrooms, Chris, just so you want to get upset with me. You don't want anything to go to waste, Jeff. That's all good. Yeah. These aren't as perfectly cut as the uh, pork from the other week, but. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't understand how this can be considered kind of just like a steak and cheese like this. I, I don't understand why people would do it like that. <laughs> I really don't. It makes no sense to me. My assumption was there was a cost factor in it. The hamburger is cheaper than the shaved ribeye. Okay, but it doesn't taste anything like steak. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's I not think. chicken. So you know how sometimes you get a smell from a jalapeno? Like, that's a hot one. That's a hot one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I can smell it all over the half. So we're having a uh, hamburger pizza tonight. By the way, I've never done this. I just, I just want to see what the fuss is about, and, and Nate's probably right. It's gonna taste like a big cheeseburger. Well, I'll tell you, we never but did. That's what it is anyway. It's we like a cheeseburger sub. Never did an Oklahoma <laughs> burger before, and I love that. And I cooked that while camping, and it was awesome. What was it? The Oklahoma burger. Oh yeah, I agree. And the smash under the onions definitely the technique to go with. And, and I think Nate is right. The whole thing about this is it's cheap, right? So it's affordable. I mean, I, I, it, it I'm used kinda, to be cheap until hamburger oh, went well, up to five bucks a pound. Cheap anymore. I know. That's kind of my assumption anyway. 
you know, like even the shaved steak, a couple of places I work, shaved steak's definitely more uh, expensive than hamburger. Definitely way more expensive. Some stuff all over. All right, that is just about ready to go. Wait, it sounded like it was coming down raining, but it's not quite there just yet. We're waiting for this downfall to come. It's going to be coming any minute, I think. Well, the downfall came downfall as soon as we started. Downfall. <laughs> downfall. Chris says it right there. I was just saying. Downfall. The rest of us call it a downpour. <laughs> How do you want this lettuce? Why don't you go with that one on your own? Well, well normally I'm going to tear it into leaves, but I'm dealing with you, so you might want it shredded and boiled. I'm thinking know. shredded. Yeah, I want it boiled. All right, perfect. I'll get that done. <laughs> Do you want it shredded or in leaves or in chunks? I would like it shredded. Good call. Okay. I'm not kidding. See, I would have gone with leaves. Hmm? I only went shredded because you wanted leaves. <laughs> it's a good thing I asked. <laughs> now the question is, when you say shredded, do you really mean shredded or are you talking about leaves? I mean shredded. <laughs> I mean shredded. Yeah, these things have a lot of heat. They're good. Whoa. Get your drink. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. The rain has held off. We got some cover anyway, because it's still, that sky is black over there. Yeah, it feels like rain. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to just try to flip this right on there. It worked. It worked. Cheers. Not bad at all. Thank you, Nate. I wasn't being helpful, I just needed a refill. <laughs> Trust me, I, I knew. I ate the mushrooms and jalapenos down as well. Those will probably cook about the same amount of time as the hamburger. Hit that with seasoning. Little you know, seasoning? We could throw some uh, some heat in this too if you want. Uh, those jalapenos are going to have plenty of heat. All right. I think I still got a little burn How much in my... did Nate just talk when he went in the house? That's what I was listening for. <laughs> like a true professional now. We got this covered. We got this. Quiet as a church mouse. Yeah. Quiet as a church mouse. You can smell the heat on those jalapenos. Those... I don't want to overspeak any of your criticisms. <laughs> any of my criticisms? Mate, this cheeseburger is looking wonderful. The cheese pizza. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am expecting a lot of feedback from you guys. I want to see you flip it. Is what I want to see. Whether this qualifies as a chopped cheese. Got to wait. To, got to watch the whole video to see if it's chopped cheese. I think that's the whole key. Got to watch it all. I see like a fault line right here. What are you worried, Jeff? You know what? If it falls apart, it falls apart. It's supposed wow. to. <laughs> How long do you think? Five minutes. Get a good. Yeah, I'll crisp. do about five minutes. Give it a good sear. Flip it. Another couple more minutes. Make sure I get some nice red, pink in there for Nate's hamburger. You mean sharp cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find a way to do some cross contamination here for you. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Give my toilet a workout. Well, real quick, we should mention, Jeff, do we want to get a profile of this guy with his weight loss? We hit, you oh, mentioned yeah. the beginning of the movie, but we haven't shown a, a, a full picture of him. Yeah, I that'll agree. be okay. Jeff, walk around on camera and lift your we shirt. Get, we got to have you do some modeling for us, Jeff. Get over there and lift your shirt. We'll have cartwheels again. Yeah, come over and lift your shirt. It's yeah. a great idea, Nate. Yeah. Best idea you've had all day. Go stand next to Chris so they can see. <laughs> what? What is? Yeah, come here. I'm always going for a hug. You have to Chris. make me look really fat. <laughs> Forty more pounds to go. That's oh, it. Oh way, dude! Look at you. How much so far? Sixty pounds so far. Nice. Sixty. That's a huge that's number. Awesome. Man. Yeah. That's a huge number. Yeah. Well done. We are Jeff. very proud of Jeff for Thank sure. You guys. And we feel really guilty. And we're, we're gonna stop losing fat. weight. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. As the big drops come to, it's time to flip. So, I'm gonna get in here, see how this goes. What's what, what'd you say, five minutes for that? Well, the fault line broke perfectly. It's like a perfect burger. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every perfect. Fi every fine chef looks away as they toss. I don't want that <laughs> splatter on me. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, you got some, uh, This is what we're looking for. Get some sear on there. Yeah. Nice. For another three or four minutes, then we'll start chopping it up and then mix that stuff in there. We got some buns going down. Oh, look at that, huh? Done. Nice job. Oh, that one, not so much. For all you bread eaters out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had three Doritos the other day at my mother's house. I saw a bag of Doritos and I put three in my hand. I'm like, I'm going to eat these. Slowly. Slowly. It's an indulgence. <laughs> Enjoy it. So, this is why I think they call it chopped cheese. I don't know why. This is the chopping part. Hey, this is probably something you did a lot of with your uh, in your sub days. Nah, when we made cheeseburgers, we just left them as cheeseburgers. 
<laughs> no, when you did chopped cheese. Yeah, it was on the menu right below that famous pastrami sandwich. Yeah, right below Jeff's famous pastrami sandwich that only Jeff heard of. Yeah. Well, I like that it's chunky. Well, what we're gonna do. Ooh, all in. Nice. Go right in. Well, the rain stopped. That's good. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Not at all. No such thing as too much, right? Well, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna remove this, put it on there, we'll go inside and build. One advantage to something like this is that you can do a whole griddle with that and then just divide it up into individual hamburger so buns, not sub rolls. Ideally, if I was gonna make it right now, if I yeah. was gonna make a hamburger or a uh, chopped cheese for somebody, it was a you sub roll. That? You notice that? If it was a sub left? roll, it would be like this. You guys caught that. If it was a sub roll, it would be like this, and I would just take the bun like we do with the steak now, and cheese. What do you think about just chopping this, the cheese into the, the steak right now? Right? I like this better because it's gonna. Once we build it, I'll huh. put two of those onto one on the sandwich. The only reason why I was nice. saying that is because you can. It'll help meld hold the beef together. Structural integrity? Yeah. yeah. I'll be honest with you. It's gonna look better pitches this way too. All right. Can you chop mine? Yes, I can chop yours. Well, that, it looks good, and an it smells good. Extra 45 minutes on the tread? Tread yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. There you go, Jeff. Look at that. Right in there for you, bud. I like it. Do you have any mozzarella? Uh, I do. <laughs> looks good, Chris. Looks good. Do you good. have any uh, shredded steak for steak and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I like the mushroom ad. That's a good one. You won't find that in anybody's chopped cheese mushrooms. I don't think so. No? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's go build. Time to make the sandwich. I'm going to make one for me and Nate right now. What's in the sauce? It's a mayonnaise and... Chipotle? Sriracha. Sriracha. Good call, too. Jeff, yours did not come out looking so good, just like I told you it would. Not enough cheese. Not enough cheese. It's all, you made me mix it in there. That's exactly what yes. I told you would happen. Your idea is definitely not Instagram worthy, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, I assume you're okay with lettuce, tomato. I like lettuce, and tomato, onion. pickle, onion on my cheeseburger. I do. Okay, that's where you're gonna get then. Lucky you. Jeff, if you wanna come over and build your zone, if you wanna build it at all, you just wanna look at it, that's totally up to you, my man. I don't wanna disturb what you got going on. Take some onions on that too. Now lay out some pickles here for you, Chris. No lettuce, no pickle. No. Maybe a tomato. Maybe a tomato. Yeah, I'll take a tomato. You want to catch? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Look at that. It's worth two. Oh my lord! <laughs> did I mention I don't like sriracha, Chris? <laughs> you Can't did. Even taste it. You know Can't what? Even... If you remember camping, <clears throat> you said, "Wow, that tastes pretty good," because it's more mayonnaise than it is sriracha. Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right, guys. One, two, three. Done. Done. Chopped cheese, not steak and cheese. <laughs> we already started chowing in, guys. Chris, what do you think? It's your masterpiece. You right? I it. haven't bit it. No, I'm taking a bite. Yet. I'm halfway done my plate, but. Am I already chowed into mine? Good bite. Mm. Not a small, what are we calling this? Chopped cheeseburger? <laughs> I, got, I got you, buddy. I mean, this bread, it looks like a hamburger roll, but they call it sandwich bread. It's essentially the same thing as a sub roll, Nate. <laughs> it looks and smells really delicious, I'll tell yeah. you that. Wow, that's got some heat. Yeah, yeah. those wow. jalapenos uh, got picked to that peak of heat. I think it's that, and I think in this sauce, I threw in some, mm. some cayenne red pepper as well. well I think it's a little spicy. mixture. I like it. Mm. I think it's delicious. A little salty, a little heavy on the salt, I agree, Nate. I but, guess what? What, what kind of I like is uh, kind of easy, you know. Just pile it all on the griddle, mm -hmm. and then just put it all. It's almost like making sloppy joes, yeah. you know. Yeah. You don't have to worry about cooking individual burgers. Just get it all cooked, get it all mixed together, let and people it, top themselves. And I put as much as they want on it too, or a little. Right. Kind of hate to admit it too, but I think your uh, pizza pie there. I, I think that helped because it kept it chunkier. Mm -hmm. First, yep. if you just threw it on there, it would, would, would have broken like taco meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. wait, fold me into a patty like I give him a hard time for? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Screw you, I'm not on your side either. Your next video, I'm picking on you. I can't even do a chance. The more weight Jeff loses, the smarter he gets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you made it this far, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, hit that like button as well. And hit the notification bell. You get all of our content. We're putting stuff out religiously, I think, every week. And we're gonna try and get to the comments. It's tough, though. Yes. It's been a busy couple. 
busy couple weeks, but we appreciate well, them and we love seeing them. Yes. We'll Thank be you. back next week. Thank yep. you. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Really good.